all literature in some way is about trying something else on, looking at another aspect of the world through your own eyes, trying to understand a problem or a situation that you're dealing with metaphorically through a character or a set of characters and a story. My name is Ilya Kowalczyk. I'm the executive director and education coordinator of Comic Book Classroom. Um, what we do is we work to help teachers and students see an alternative approach to storytelling, to focusing on ways to tackle problems in their lives using a graphic and textual blend. What, what I found while I was teaching middle school was that the kids who were checked out when I was trying to teach them about classic literature, that all of a sudden when I offered a class on comic books or graffiti art or video game culture, that those kids all flocked to my classroom and they all came alive. And we had these rich, multi-leveled, layered conversations that were surrounding this, this um, throwaway culture that in society is, is seen as, as junk. And, and what, what we're starting to realize is not. You know, comic books in literacy is, is something that I've wanted to see for many, many years just because, uh, you know, kids nowadays aren't reading as much as they need to. So it's frustrating for us as parents and, and teachers and librarians to see the kids not really uh, reading as much as they, they probably should. They offer a more realistic representation of an idea. You can draw a picture of something and express it in different ways than you can write about it. But if you blend those two things together, if you blend the graphic representation as well as the textual representation, it offers a tremendous opportunity both for different kinds of cognitive interpretation as well as uh, literary understanding. And there's two characters, Amazing Girl and Super PK, mm -hmm. and they try and beat up two super villains. One's called Haunted Scarecrow, and the other's called um, Dr. Vane. Mm -hmm. I think about how it, how it might affect other people, so I try and make it funny, so if they're sad, they can get a laugh. Mm -hmm. I have a dream of being able to offer the curriculum, a high-quality comic curriculum, to teachers across the country free of charge. We, we have a, a wonderful partnership with a nonprofit called Reading with Pictures, and they've, they've written a phenomenal textbook. Called, it's called The Graphic Textbook. And it, there are three different comic stories that cover each content area that could be used to teach content by an elementary teacher. We also have a great partnership with the Stan Lee Foundation, which is uh, an organization that uses Stan Lee's name and uh, his um, love of comics and legacy and really put forth the idea that comics are a rich literary form that can be used to enhance the lives and education of kids across the country. The, the idea of giving teachers the, the opportunity to use a, a wonderful curriculum that's all-inclusive and that can teach kids the power and the potential of comics is, is amazing and is very exciting to me and, and I'm guessing to a lot of other teachers and kids across the country.